that really wants to change? And how can they change in such a corrupt system? How can they change something when indigenous people are viewed as less than legitimate to, uh, to have our rights respected? Violence is not acceptable in any way, shape, or form. Violence is because people fear what they do not know, because they don't feel good enough inside, and because they don't know any ways of expression. And so you need to teach your children how to express themselves in a peaceful and thoughtful way, in a respectful way. And we need to have that from the media. Don't just put us as, as the flash, a three second flash in the media, but educate your public. You have a responsibility as well as media. And for those of you who are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, teachers, nurses, doctors, lawyers, whatever you are, make sure, as Melissa said, that this is the last year that we ask for an inquiry, that next year at this time, an inquiry will be done, led by the families who have been affected, led by indigenous women, indigenous peoples and their families, side by side with you. For those of you who seek justice, real justice, and real reconciliation, which involves restitution. Restitution for those who have never had justice before. And I don't care about your constitution. Your constitution was done without our free, prior, and informed consent. And we are nations. And we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have to blockade roads to get your attention. We shouldn't have to do these vigils. It's a beautiful sunny day. We should be with our families. Life is not so long that we take advantage of a sunny day. We should be proud of who we are as human beings. And let's get justice for our, our missing and murdered women, no matter who you are, no matter what race they come from, but in particular, the indigenous women on a, upon whose nations are being attacked every single day by your policies, your government's policies, by your legislation, and by the racism that continues to plague us as human beings. And I want to thank everybody for coming here. I hope we have a good march. And um, elect somebody who's smart enough to see the real picture and who can work with you all to change this corrupt system that isn't gonna change no matter who gets in. I appreciate you all for coming here. I love Mother Earth, and I love all our relations who have just as much right to, to live in a free and democratic world as we as human beings. So go to the organizers, go to all the prayers, and to you all. Nyoko, Sebunisarate, and Sebunisarate Yohak. I hope you all have a good day and good march.